These are my tools to create awesome PS3 tutorials. Let's do this. Hey guys, this is Versatile from VSC Power, now holds and proud to finish Mina. In today's video tutorial, I'm going to talk about what I did to recently unbrick my PS3 Slim. I had a yellow light of death when I was doing the E3 downgrader process. And there is a way to recover your PS3, assuming you have a verified good dump to begin with. So let's do this. Uh, real quick on my background story. So what happened was I was in the process of flashing over my patch dump to the Nord chip using the E3 flasher. And what happened was for whatever reason, I think I had a loose connection and my clip was loose and I got an error code, one triple zero one 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 one, which means your E3 flasher clip was loose. So what did I do? I turned off the PS3, reseated the clip, turned the PS3 back on, and then I got the error code. I, and I also got the yellow light of death. So I turn it on, like here, I got the red light, then the yellow light, three beeps, and then the PS3 instantly shut down, which is a sign of the yellow light of death, or Y-L-O-D. So, how do you fix this? If you have an E3 flasher, you have a verified dump, you can do this, because I did it. Um, there's not many tutorials on this particular subject, so I'll try to do my best and try to explain what I did. And of course, if you guys have any questions, you can put them on the YouTube page. So the first thing you want to do is we need to fix that instant shutdown when you turn on the PS3. Otherwise, we cannot do the flashing. So here's the background. Here's the bottom uh, of my motherboard. It's a DYN-001, and what you see here is I've actually soldered a wire. So if you go to Google, find your motherboard model number. What we want to do is you want to find where is the tri-state, the NOR tri-state point, and where is the ground point. And then what you want to do, the best method, is take a wire, this is gauge 22, or gauge 20, and just solder the two points together. Okay. Now I know there's other people out there that said, hey, I used a wire, I used tape, I didn't have to do any soldering. If you can get that to work, that's awesome. Because I had a tough time trying to get the tape method to work where I just had tape and tape these two points down. And it was not a secure connection. So when I tried to turn on my PS3, it could not turn on. So I just ended up doing the solder method and it worked the very first try. So if you don't do this, this wire method, you cannot have your PS3 turn on and stay on. So that's why you have to do it. Either do the solder method or if you must try to get the tape method to work. So let's assume you you did that already, okay? So you did that. Next thing you want to do is let's go ahead and turn the PS3 back on its uh, bottom here. Okay. Next thing that I did as a tip uh, when I originally used my clamp, this is my clamp here, I was a little bit off-centered and I did not have the coin. In this case, it's a quarter. So in order to fix this, what I ended up doing was I highly suggest you have the E3 flasher clip on, you have a coin on, and then use the clamp. The coin is a good idea because it gives you even contact pressure all around the clip as you use the clamp down here. So that's what I ended up doing. And I got this to work on the first try after I had bricked my unit. So as a recap, this is my clamp. Let me show you how I installed it. So you just go like this here. Go down. And you just want to be snug. You don't want to go too hardcore down and tight where you're going to destroy your E3 flasher clip and also the pins on your Nord chip. So you just want to be nice and tight just a little bit enough on top of the coin to give even contact pressure. So let's say you did that already. And then of course you want to add your power bar thing. So go ahead and connect that ribbon cable to the front here. So you do that, right? And then the next thing you want to do is connect your E3 flasher. I already have the micro SD with the patched dump, the good verified dump already patched. Here's the micro SD right here. So let's go ahead and connect the E3 flasher clip cable. So let's do that. Okay. All right. And then now we gotta do is uh, connect your power cord 
So let's do that. Okay, now I'm gonna turn on my power strip. Turn on, press this button here. And we see that the yellow light of depth is not turning on. PS3 stays on, that's awesome. And then the next thing you wanna do is wait about 10, 30 seconds to be safe. Once your 30 seconds have, has elapsed, then what you wanna do is in terms of the switches, you wanna be in flash fun mode, which means you want your first switch up and the rest down, okay? And you also wanna make sure you have a verified dump that it's patched. So I used the version 4.76 patch tool. And then what you wanna do is click on start. I'm not gonna do that because I already uh, flashed my PS3 and I don't wanna screw anything up. So, but what you wanna do at this point in time is press start. All these LEDs are gonna be off. And then the LEDs will turn on one by one by one by one from left to right. It's gonna take approximately eight minutes when you are done, the LEDs will flash just like this, okay? If you get that, that means you, have, you are successful and you, are, you have unbricked your unit. So let's assume that your eight, 10 minutes has passed already. Now what you wanna do is turn off the PS3. Um, you can't do it this way because you soldered that wire. So now what you wanna do is uh, disconnect the power cord or I'm using the power adapter, so I'm gonna do that method to turn it off. Okay, and then what you want to do is disconnect your power bar. Okay, disconnect your E3 flasher clip. Okay, remove your clamp. All right, remove your power cord. Um, I'll get to that, I'll remove that later. But one thing I just want to make a real important note for you guys is. Before you continue with reassembling your PS3, you want to remove this cable. So I'm not going to show it in the video, but what I will end up doing is I'm going to use my solder gun. So what I'm going to do is basically once the solder gun is nice and hot, go one side here, lift the, lift the wire, do the same thing over here, lift the wire, pull it off. And then what you want to do then is continue with the rest of the process, put your PS3 back together in your case, and then you can continue with the USB method to downgrade your PS3, which I have done in a different video tutorial. But today's video tutorial is strictly on the process on how to unbrick your PS3. The most important takeaway from this video is one, make sure you find your correct motherboard schematic so you know where the North Tri-State and where your ground connection is. So the solder method is the best, but if you want to do the tape method and if it works for you, by all means, go for it. And then, the, and then the second most important thing is make sure you have a verified dump. If you have a good dump, you can patch that dump, and then you can put that dump back on the PS3, and you can have a lot of good times and no more, no more yellow light of deaths, and you're going to be a hero. So that is today's video tutorial. You guys have any nitpicky questions, leave a comment here on the YouTube page, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.